Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. Got another shave of the day. And today we're going to be doing Sterling's Barbershop. Ah, just a wonderful scent. I love this. I need to get a tub of this. So I guess when the next time I make an order from Sterling, this is going to be on the top of the list of something I need to pick up. I just love this scent. Just a wonderful kind of powdery scent. It's like hard to describe, but it is good. Lather it up. Yep, smells like barbershop. Alright, and makes a really nice little, uh, here's a quarter size amount, and you got a nice little bit, kind of just on that drippy side. Lots of hydration. And then we're going to be using this Gillette Super Speed with, with a Wizomet Iridium Blade. It's like any, nowhere on here does it say Wizomet. Like, unless you knew that, all you see is iridium. That's all you know. Like, that's not really good advertising, I guess. Ah, but this is a Gillette uh, Super Speed. There is no date code on this one, so probably from the 40s. All right, so, and we'll follow up with a little bit of Avon Wild Country, which, you know, works really good with the uh, barbershop scent. All right, hope everybody's day is going good on this icy, frozen, tundra morning. It was 10 below this morning. At least it was this morning when I went to bed about... Oh, trying to escape there. There we go. And I went to bed about 3 o'clock this morning and it was already like 10 below then and then when I got up at 8 it was still it was like 9 below then so it was a bit chilly then we got all the way I say Jeff Jeffrey Smith shaving would be happy with this one it's got a lot of hydration in it it's drippy. All right. Okay. Get the day going here. First pass. I'm just curious. What is the coldest temperature that you've ever experienced outside? That you went outside in? I'd say a lot of people... But if you lived up north, would have experienced some really cold temperatures. I can really hear the feedback coming off this blade. This is, I think, the third, maybe the fourth use in this blade. I think it's the fourth. And you can hear the neighbors. Neighbors are moving out of their house. <laughs> you pick the wrong day to do that. You know how cold it is. That kind of woke me up early. I heard this rumbling sound and yelling, and they were backing up the big old U haul to the house and trying to, then they had to go out and dig. Because we have a massive snow bank in front of their house. Because we push all of our snow into their driveway. And we push their cleaner driveway off for them. And it's like a lot easier to go one direction. So there was a big massive snow bank in front of their, in front of their by their door. They're always we're happy. It's like, eh, thanks for cleaning our driveway. We're happy. It's like, really appreciate it. But then they're backing up the truck, you haul to it. They had to dig it out. So they're out there chiseling away into the frozen. Because it, it got up to almost, we had uh, 14 inches of snow. And then it turned around and, and uh, warmed up so it all 
kind of melted into a nice block and they're out there chiseling away <laughs> like yeah sorry <laughs> eh, it sucks to be you but yeah they didn't say anything or even tell us like we've gone through quite a few neighbors we've been in this place for Oh, going on 29 years now. And we're one of the oldest families that live in the neighborhood. There's only one, one individual that's uh, been here longer. He's been here a couple more years than we have on the street. And, but we've seen everybody recycle through. It's like... And when we moved in, let's see, they had one, two, three, four. This is the fifth family that's moved into that house next door to us since we moved in. Like, it's crazy. And it's pretty common. It's like, we live in some, our house, you know, it's like, that's the, Basically, this was our first home that we bought, and we had planned on moving to a, a larger home, and then we just decided not to, and, and it was, uh, after a couple kids were born here, and, and it's like, yeah, it's just easier to not worry about moving. My wife is a extreme homebody. She doesn't like change at all. So it's like I thought about uh, uh, moving into a house on the countryside. It's you know I grew up in the country and uh, on a farm. And I wanted an acreage and. She grew up in the city, and she wanted to live in town, so it's like, we compromised. We did what she wanted, so, yes. <laughs> Man, this barbershop scent is good. I really like this scent. But... I've seen a lot of things change. We moved in. Let's see, the house would have been 14 years old when we moved in. It's like hard to believe. It's been a long time. And we were having a discussion of yesterday at dinner where my wife was, you know, she's a teacher. And there was a discussion now. It's like, are we going to call school off because it's going to be 10 below? It's like, we don't want the kids freezing to death on their way to school. And my wife said, my husband's going to say something about that. And it's like, what do you mean? It's like, whoa, come here, where are you going? Suds everywhere. And I remember it was 40 below and we had to walk basically about eight blocks to the bus to get to the bus because they wouldn't come back to where we lived into the because we where our farm was so we had to walk out to the main road gravel road uh, get to the bus which was roughly about eight blocks and it was like 40 below you had 30 mile an hour winds 35 mile an hour winds so it was roughly about 60 70 below wind chills and you walk to the school bus 
and you hear them say, oh, it's going to be 10, about 10 below with about 15, 20 below wind chills. We're, we don't need to have school. And like, my wife is like, my husband will say, that's not cold. <laughs> You're right. But... So well, that's not the coldest though I've ever felt. I think I've said it before. Or coldest weather I've ever experienced in Minnesota was 56 below. Fahrenheit, that is. Which I think is probably 60 something below Celsius. It's somewhere around 25 below, somewhere in there is when the Celsius and the Fahrenheit meet up and they're the same and then it starts changing from there. This is a really efficient razor, especially with these blades. Even after being used so many times, this blade is working good. Glad I wasn't using this razor, this blade with this razor right off the bat. Probably be peeling my face off. It's like smooth. Yeah, it's like this razor, I prefer the Astros in it. The Astros work really good in this razor. Another funny thing was that we were, last night, we started watching uh, Peacemaker on HBO. That he's a vigilante slash supposedly hero. If you watched uh, Suicide Squad, the movie, John Cena is Peacemaker. And they gave him his own uh, show. We were watching that last night. We watched the first episode. And, and it's been out about a week till we finally got around to watching it. And my wife was just like looking at me. I'm laughing. I'm laughing my, my ass off. I'm just like, this is funny as hell. This is funny. Maybe it's that veteran humor, I don't know, but I'm and it, it was at the one point where the uh, his eagle, he meets up with his eagle and he's like eagle, it oh! it's like a love affair type thing and and he runs over there and, and sits in front of the eagle and kneels down and the eagle goes like this, oh! And wraps his, his wings around him. He's like, oh, like, <laughs> I'm like, that's so stupid. But it's funny. And my, it was like, we watched the first step of the episode. And my wife just looks like, I can't believe we watched that. It was so dumb. And I was like, that's what makes it so funny. And like, I, it's like, your humor is just weird. It's like sometimes you have to turn your brain off and just laugh. That's the important thing. Just laugh. Why so serious? Alright. Ooh, I don't know if you heard that. My shoulder just popped. Never dislocate your shoulder. It'll haunt you when you're older. Wow.
I can hear that working good. All right, here we go. But yeah, if you like just dumb, stupid humor, watch uh, on HBO Max, uh, Peacemaker. Oh, well, any more spoilers, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> and I started laughing at my wife. I was like, it's so dumb. And I started laughing at her. I was like, what's so funny? I, I find it funny that you think it's not funny. <laughs> like, that's not right. Like, yes, it is. Oh. There we go. We missed a spot. We're done. All righty. Man, it's, uh, I really liked it. Barbasol. And Barbasol. Why did I say Barbasol? Barbershop. Well, it's got barber in it, I guess. Oh, well. Okay. Be ready. Here we go. Ah, yes. A little bit of Avon Wild Country. Hmm, a little stinging right here, oh, really, right there, because I, shit, caught myself, went in too steep, alright, hopefully, there we go, Avon Wild Country, if you like, kind of a Panod Clubman, but something with more powdery notes to it, with some citrus and burn and all that good stuff all mixed together, this is for you. And it just blends up really nice with this, uh, wow, what am I getting now? It's like, almost like a cinnamon. All right, that's Barbershop from Sterling. Excellent soap. Lathers up great and smells wonderful to me. All right, so that was Barbershop. And then we have, where did, I was like, where did I put the blades? Mm, I didn't catch myself. All right, that's the Gillette Super Speed with Wizomet Iridium Blades, Super Blades. There's a W on there. So if you didn't know that, it's like when I first got these from Sega, I was like, What's the W on there? Don't know. I just say uranium. Okay. That's the shave of the day. I hope you guys like it. So hit the old like button, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.